two sets of boobs. And although you would think that would be fun, it's not. The second set of boobs are in my armpits. Here's number one. Number two. My name's Samantha and having four breasts is the pit. There's no actual nipple on the breast in my armpits, but there's like a sack of skin filled with something the size of half of a softball. Right now, my armpits look like I need a bra for them. <laughs> Probably freaking a B cup. Ready? One, two, three, run that way. Run, run. When I got pregnant with my daughter, Kendall, I had this growth and I had no idea what it was. When I was breastfeeding, I actually had milk leaking out of my armpit. The milk would leak from just my pores. Like, where does it come from? They look real red already. They are starting to hurt right here a little bit. When my armpits get really bad, they're sore, they're tender to the touch. I have to put oil and ointment because they actually rub raw. It's embarrassing. I feel really uncomfortable in a tank top. Is there anybody looking at me? One, no. Two. It just looks so painful, and it's something I would just not wish on my worst enemy to have to deal with. Daddy doesn't even like to talk about it because he knows how much it bothers Mama. Gives Daddy the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. I've seen seven doctors total. One doctor told me that it's breast tissue, basically like you're stuck with them. There's nothing I can do with you. So I don't know, can this be fixed or will I always have breasts in my armpits? You know, sometimes patients have problems because the surgery went bad. Mm -hmm. And then other times it's when nature goes bad. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how nature went bad here. Look at that. She's never had surgery. Can you wrap your brain around that? Is that fat or is that a tumor? Right, what is it? Can you please send in Samantha? Samantha. Hello. Hi, Dr. Nelson. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Terry Dubrow, pleasure. Nice to meet, nice to meet, you. Nice to meet you. Frankie, yeah. Samantha. Terry husband. Dubrow. Ah, you brought the husband. You brought the yeah. ball and chain. Yeah, I thought I would bring them along. Why not? <laughs> How long have you had these masses in your armpits? Um, it started with the pregnancy of my daughter, of my first child. Nothing before Nothing that. Nothing before that. And I got pregnant with my son when my daughter was only about six months old. So what happened with the second one? Worse. Worse. Got, worse. got bigger. Yes, I had milk leaking from Milk's leaking from armpits. the armpit area. Yes. Are you finished I, having children? Yes. We're done. <laughs> okay. Pull your hair away a little bit for a second. There you go. Well, oh, she got a little goiter going. Your, your oh, thyroid's right. a little swollen. Oh, is it? Yeah. I know, that's not what you're here oh, for, no. but I just want to mention that to you. <laughs> okay. That's true. Despite the way he looks, Paul is actually a really smart, astute clinician. And that pickup of the thyroid is an important part of Samantha's assessment and potential future treatment. There's a gland in your brain called the pituitary gland. Yes. And the front part contains similar hormones that can enlarge this, can enlarge this, okay. that can give you other endocrine problems. Okay. The thing with Samantha is that we need to resolve any issues with her thyroid before surgery. Number one is because she's having anesthesia, we gotta make sure her thyroid is on point and working well. Two, can there be any relationship with thyroid malfunction and the armpit masses? We don't know. Can you ever wear a tank top? Never. Can you wear a bikini top? No. How's it affected your situation, if at all? It transfers over to, you know, our romantic life. Because you you're self-conscious about it? Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. she goes to sleep with, you know, something covering now, you know, so it's a 24-7 thing. It's an obstacle for her every, every day. It's been really hard to watch Samantha go through this situation for all these years. When we got married, Samantha wasn't even able to wear the wedding dress of her dreams because it's a sleeveless dress that revealed everything in her armpit. I hope that maybe one day she would be able to wear her dress that she's always wanted to wear. So the question, is it an abnormal problem that has a disease potential associated with it? Right. Or is it just an anatomical variant that's giving you cosmetic and functional problems right. that you just need to remove? Right. That's the big question. Yeah. You have clearly an enlarged thyroid. It's a big one, huh? Put your feet that way for me just okay. a minute, okay? I just want to feel it. Okay, do me one favor and swallow for me. 
I'm nervous, I'm scared, it has my mind going, racing a mile a minute. Is there something else going on that is connected to my thyroid? So lift your arm up for a sec. Wow, so they're very irritated. So Feel that, Paul. Do you see this one? Very soft. Yeah, that feels just like a breast tissue. And this one's a lot bigger. Very, this one is a little scary. Huge. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about this. Okay. So the question is, is this part of a larger symptom complex with your thyroid? Right. The answer, I think, lies in a series of simple blood tests. Okay. But let's assume for this discussion, okay. these are isolated anatomic features. Right. What are they? What is this? Right. This is called ectopic axillary tissue. It's okay. essentially enlarged breasts at the tail of the breast tissue. Every girl has breasts and then a small tail that leads into the armpit. Okay. Rarely during pregnancy, it can enlarge temporarily right. and then it almost always resolves after that. For some reason, yours persisted. Right. I've never seen this big a persistence. Right. Let me tell you what's complicated right. about your case. Yes. The armpit is what we call tiger country. Tiger country is an expression we use in surgery that means if you dissect in an area, there are things you can see and things you cannot see. For example, there's the lymphatics, the lymph nodes, and those are microscopic. You can't really see them, and if you get into them and you disrupt them, it can lead to a chronic, potentially debilitating problem. Your right ectopic breast tissue uh -huh. And that's why I was feeling it, it right. goes way into tiger country. I'd rather not get into tiger country anytime soon. Most of the time, ectopic breast tissue right. is primarily fat. Right. So you could put a liposuction cannula in there and suction probably 85% of it. That's a way of minimizing the risk. You might still have persistent breast tissue in there though because you can't suction out breast gland tissue. And whatever's left, we open it up and try to do dissection and get out as much as possible yeah. without getting into tiger country. Right. All right? Yeah. Good plan? Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Great to see you guys. Let's do this thing. Samantha. Hello. How are you? I'm excited. You are? Yeah. Good, me too. So I was just looking at your lab test. Your endocrine workup, fortunately, negative. Good. The fact that Samantha's thyroid workup is negative means the problem in her armpits is an isolated problem, and she doesn't actually have any issues with her thyroid. We can therefore go into surgery with confidence, knowing that the masses in her armpits will not grow back again. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, you feel good about it? Yep, I do. Good. That makes yeah. one. Yeah. I'll let you know in about <laughs> okay. an hour. Let me know. All right. <laughs> Today for Samantha's surgery, my plan is to make small incisions in each armpit and begin with liposuction to see how much of the masses I can remove. Next, I will make bigger incisions to go into the axilla and dissect out the remaining tissue, leaving Samantha with normal appearing armpits. Okay, so we'll start with some liposuction. Uh, it already feels very glandular. It's not suctioning at all. Okay. Big fat zero, so it's all breast tissue. Well, I was hoping it wouldn't be that, but it is. All right, so let's go ahead and start the dissection. We're going into the jungle, ladies and gentlemen. The whole goal is to get as much of the breast tissue out as possible without damaging the lymphatics or any of the vascular structures. Okay, now comes the scary part. On this side, the hardest part. The problem is, it's not like they're labeled and you can say, Avoid me here. You have to actually carefully dissect away and determine how close you're getting to them. Holy sh! Well, this thing is huge. Mm -hmm. There's a lymph node right there. I don't really want to be in that. Yeah, this goes right deep into the jungle. This thing it is not fully around. Huh? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, what is that? Okay, big blood vessel. Because look, there's a little lymph node in right there. I don't really want to go any deeper than this. This is a good, safe little cushion, right? Okay. That 
It's all this brush tissue that extends right into the armpit. Look at this monster. Look at this. All right, let's go to the other side. Hopefully we'll get a little second side phenomenon here. Second side phenomenon refers to when you do one side, the body kind of teaches you what the challenges are gonna be. So by the time you go to the second side, it takes half the time. This one was easier because it was smaller. Yeah. Okay, so we've stayed well above where the lymphatics are located, definitely not into the arteries and veins. The ectopic extra breast tissue is gone. I think it was a home run. Mm -hmm. And we didn't meet any tigers. Hello, young lady. Hey. Hi. Sir, how, how are you? Are you? Doing great. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel really good, actually. So let's see what it looks like. So do you, can you see this? Not really. Here, let me take a picture of it okay. for you. So this is what it looks like. Cool. Pretty great, yeah. huh? Yeah. So the skin's nice and tight. Here's the other one, <laughs> okay, though. Let's All right. See. Isn't that cool? It looks great. A scar is a small price to pay. Yeah, you're not really going to be able to see it. No. It's going to be covered. Yeah. yeah. It'll shrivel up. Yeah, it's crazy. It's still so surreal that, that I'm here. I can't wait to wear what I want and just be more confident. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so thankful for Dr. Dubrow. He just did what he knew he needed to do, and I can't wait to see them when they're healed. Beautiful job. Big day. Excited for her. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's a big day for her. Dunzo. Done. All you have to do now is heal. Yeah. Frankie and I are celebrating our three-year anniversary today, and he and the kids have set up something special so we can relive our wedding day on my wedding day, I had to wear a long sleeve dress. I didn't get to wear my dream dress because I had to cover up the breast in my armpits. And today, to be able to wear my dream wedding dress that I've had for over three years feels amazing. I feel alive. There's mama. <laughs> <laughs> It's been so long since I've seen Samantha in a sleeveless dress, and I can tell she's just overloaded with joy. Before my surgery, I had four breasts, and two of them were in my armpit. They made me insecure, and they rubbed raw. But now, thanks to Dr. Debro, my armpits look normal again. There's no more chafing, no more embarrassment. I can finally wear the wedding dress of my dreams without worrying about what my underarms look like. Well, it's going to be a fresh start for you. I'm so excited. <laughs> look how beautiful you think it's she looks. So pretty. Now, Mama now we could, could be... go on a shopping spree. How do you feel, babe, that now you could finally show off your arms? It's surreal. It just brought me back to our wedding day, and I'm just thankful that I can feel normal again. This opportunity has been completely life changing. It's like I'm a new person. Oh, good oh, old girl. Who wants to have some cake? Me. Let's have cake.